Hey y'all, it's just Bree. Welcome to my back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna try to come up with a new name for my channel, make it a little bit more marketable. Um, so what I wanted to um, do was a story time, and um, I hate I don't like doing. I don't like talking because I keep saying, um, 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 <laughs> so I try to get all my ums out. Anyway, okay, so this is about a guy that I dated that killed his girlfriend, or his fiance, so-called fiance. Um, so I met this guy. I don't even remember, I don't remember how we met. Um, but anyway, he's, I'm 5'7", so he's like 5'5". Five, five. And after the age of, let me see, at a certain age, maybe in my late 20s, at a certain age in my late 20s, my late 20s, I was like, you know, I don't really have a preference. I don't really have a type. I date a short, tall, light, dark, 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 light, bright. You know, just all over the place. So, I didn't really have a type. Um, and the reason why I dated, I only dated like two shorter guys than me. And my, um, so, my only requirement at that time and for, uh, just about to this day is that he can't look like, um, as long as he don't look like Flavor Flavor Kodak Black. That's my only requirement. Um, so anyway, he was short, dark skin. Um, he was cute to me. He was, he was a nice looking guy. Um, and he had two kids and he worked, um, worked doing asbestos is what he said to me. So... And like I said, I forgot where we met, um, or how we met. Probably at the gas station or somewhere annoying me. So, he, so we, we, we were, um, it was casual dating. We had a little bit of sex, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was casual. Um, and the thing is, his penis wasn't, like, it was just, it was a little less than average, but the thing about that was, is that he knew how to work it, and he knew how to work that tongue. So, um, that, it, every, it made, he made up for everything, um, because sometimes that size is like a thing, and I got another story about size. So, but he was, he knew how to work it. So, um, you know, we was kicking it or whatever. Just, you know, spending a little time together. Oh, so one day I had went to his house, which was around the corner from my cousin's house. And, um, I hung out over there for a little bit. That was the first time I had one over there. And then, um, he used to, usually he would come by my house. So, I'm sorry, I'm making this drawing out. I'm going to get better. And basically, let me see. Oh, so here's the thing. I liked him. I really liked him. And see, I was a serial dater, but I was willing to settle down. But the problem is, is that the person I liked wasn't that into me. And then the person that liked me, I wasn't that into them. So, and I really started to like them. And, oh, and he took me over. We went over to another house 
um, I can't remember whose house it was, but we chilled out over there for a little bit, somebody's house, um, and then one day he took me to this building where he was supposed, supposedly working doing asbestos. And because I'm thinking like, oh, he got a good job. You know, he got the two kids. Okay. I only had my daughter at the time. And I'm like, shoot, you know, this could be something. But, um, and he had his own car, own place. So he took me to this building one day. And he's like, oh, yeah, this is one of the places I'm working, doing asbestos. Yada, yada. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool, whatever. So, I say about six months into our little situation, we kind of like drifted apart. And so I would see him in traffic um, from time to time. And I would always, I would just, I would see him and, you know, it's weird because we kind of would like pull up almost next to each other from time to time. And traffic and I'd be like, oh hey, you know, whatever. And um so um then all of a sudden I stopped seeing him in traffic. Sorry, I gotta text y'all. So, I don't care as long as I do my checklist. So, um, I used to see him in traffic and then one day it just stopped. So, I'm like, okay. So, you know, I didn't think much of it. And then, um, hmm, I'd say about three, four, five, three, four, five years later. I was living in, I was living in my apartment. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in my apartment. So, let's see. Twelve. I've been here nine years. So, yep, about three years, three or four years later, I see this Facebook post with this guy. And, um... Now, mind you, I only knew him by his nickname. So, I see this uh, Facebook post of this guy. It's a news article on my girlfriend's page of this guy and how he killed his fiance um, year, a couple years prior, but they just found out it was him. So, I'm looking... And I'm like, I know this ain't who I used to mess with. Because I stared at it for a good minute. And then I put the phone away and went on about my day. And then the next day, I looked at it again. And I was like, I'm staring at it like, I know this ain't who I think it is. I know it's not. Because I had, I mean, I just... You know, I'm just thinking, like, I could have never dated somebody that would kill his fiance. Not to mention his fiance the whole time he was messing with me. But I'll, I'll get to that. So, finally, I typed in the um, post. I'm like, is this so-and-so? I said, damn, I said, this look like so-and-so. My girlfriend hit back. She was like, it is. And I was like, what the hell? So, basically, if I got my time right, he either, I think he killed her in the winter. Um, now, the whole fiance part, like, I didn't know about none of that apparently um 
they have been together for many, many years, over 10 years by the time I started talking to them. Um, so they ended up doing a, um, so I told my mother, I was telling my mother about it. And one day she called me, she was like, your boyfriend on the ID channel. And I was like, what? I said, oh my God. So I went to go watch the story and sure enough, it was him. And it got, this story is insane. So I'm going to try to, um, cause I tried to find the story on YouTube, but I couldn't. So, long story short, he, um, so let's start with the lies, okay. So, apparently, the car he was driving was hers, or they shared it. Um, and I was like, damn, he got two kids, but they weren't her kids. And, mind you, they had been together like at least 10 years and the kids were somewhere in that 10 years because at the time I met them maybe they were a little older but I'm pretty sure he because he cheated on her through the whole relationship so anyway so this girl she wasn't all that attractive she was a nurse and she worked at a nursing home they found her body on the side of the road uh, at her job he was into all kinds of shit. He was a he was a drug dealer, which I had kind of suspected he might have did a little dibble to dabble on the side with that. Cause my dad used to do that. He worked and he hustled. So I assumed that that just you know might have been something he did. And but I didn't know. I just assumed that he was a full time asbestos worker. Then another lie was um, uh, okay. So at some point, he had burnt down one of his apartments, an apartment he was living in, to collect insurance money. Then, um. On the ID channel, when the you know how they do the reenactment, he was they had him and the fiance, being that they had been together so long, they went and got life insurance on each other. Or he was just getting it on her at the time. Yeah, whatever. They were getting life insurance. So it showed how the insurance um agent was saying how hype he was about getting this insurance on her and was like, you know, jumping, jump, you know, jumpy and wanted to hurry up and sign the papers and stuff. So, it, she obviously she signed the papers and not too long after that, he killed her. But the problem was, is that they couldn't prove it. Um... So what they hit him with is they surveillance his house the whole time he was doing the drug activity. After he had killed him, you know, he was hustling or whatever, and they surveillance him for that. And I guess they did undercover, an undercover thing too. Then, um, and they got him on the insurance, I guess some type of insurance fraud. I know they were saying that they couldn't get him on the murder. So, but he got like 60 years. Um, and I was just like, no wonder why I ain't seen this nigga in traffic. <laughs> oh my God. So my mom was like, yo, that could have been you. You better be thanking God. I was like, yeah, I'm thankful, shoot. Because I, like I said, I did like him. I really liked him. I was just so desperate for wanting to be, you know, a part of somebody. Um, that was part of it too. But um, you know. Anyway, all right. 
so um i guess i'm gonna copy this off of somebody i saw no cap um the moral of the story we'll just say the moral of the story is uh damn you gotta do background checks man or something but you know i didn't do my due diligence so i should i should have been able to at least find out that he was with this girl for so long but anyway all right y'all peace out um hope you enjoyed the story well not enjoy but <sighs> if you can relate or got something similar to put in the comments feel free um you can like subscribe share yada yada all right peace out y'all